Maria Klushina was the one Russian athlete out of the 68-person track and field team who had passed the IAAF criteria for eligibility for this games they felt that she had proved that she was independent enough from the russian system being based in the united states with a usa uh, coach she'd been tested outside of the russian system enough that they felt that they could guarantee she was clean enough to be able to compete at this games but as you said the iaaf have now confirmed to CNN that last week she was informed the 24 year old long jumper that uh, due to more information being received uh, her she in fact was also going to be suspended uh, the IAAF haven't uh, elaborated on what that information is but we do know as you said that the athlete has uh, put her case forward to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Uh, the long jump due to get underway here on Tuesday. And Kushina herself, who has been training actually under armed guards in the United States since the decision that she would be allowed to compete, she's kind of been vilified within Russia because she had initially been trying to compete as an independent athlete instead of under the Russian flag. That hadn't gone down very well in Russia at all. But she has now released a, a statement on her Facebook page which says, I am a clean athlete and have proved that already many times and beyond any doubt. I am falling victim to those who created a system of manipulating our beautiful sport and is guilty of using it for political purposes. A very strongly worded statement there from Klushina. Uh, she now really has to sit and wait. It's already been a very busy few days for the Court of Arbitration for Sport, the, the highest sporting legal court. Uh, they have an office based here in Rio for this Games, and they are now very much in a, a race against time to rule on her case ahead of Tuesday when the long jump due to get underway.